Okay. Yeah. Alright, looks like we both kept six. One card, one on the bottom for each. And we're ready to go. Nomads in core. All right, so for anyone not familiar, the Cephalid Breakfast deck, I know, the, the name is crazy. Nomads in core. Whoops, I hit the wrong command. Let me try to get the text up for Nomads in core. Nomads in core combos with Cephalid Illusionist. Or Shuko is the other card that uh, combos with the Illusionist. To mill the deck and then cast Dread Return to, flat, to uh, reanimate Thassa's Oracle after a bunch of milled Narcomoebas enter the battlefield. Is everyone clear on how this works? Does anybody have any questions? Now is the time. Yeah, it's a boring self-mill. Exactly. All right, Vile is on the board on my side. Staff of the Storyteller comes in for Yasu. There's a 1-1 one, one spirit. I don't know about that spirit token. That's a little iffy. My Twitch chat. Right. I mean, I can't change my mind. Oh, yeah. I left my tokens at home, and I'm so upset. Uh, Okay, Yasu's saying I left my tokens at home and I'm so upset. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we should be making excuses, Yasu. Honestly, just bring your damn tokens. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's this into this? Yep. That's all for me. Go ahead. Yeah. Good. Cool. Satale said perfect token would be awful if he had the right ones, and then was banned by the moderators. MTG banning says we accept his apology. So all right. So. Twitch chat being reasonable and accepting right now and uh, forgiving. Things are moving along. <laughs> Drawing off staff of the storyteller. Underground C. Hi, <laughs> Drink Conductor or Cadman saying not even pulling up the picture of the token on a phone. Yeah, that, that would be great, wouldn't it? I mean, who does that? <laughs> well, therapy on the stack. All right, a fetch in response to Cabal Therapy. There's the Badlands. Munitions expert comes in. Yep. Uh, All right. I uh, gave Yasu an opportunity to forget how his card worked there, but I removed the spirit. Goblin Matron. Okay, so Goblin Mansion was the name card. Sling Gang Lieutenant, Runbelt Horde Master, Caracas, and Wasteland are the cards in my hand. No Goblin Matrons. New card, right? New ish. It's a Lord, and when another Goblin dies, it's out of power. Next, Gray pointing out. The deck on the right looks incredible, beautiful, and stunning. Hopefully that player reads this. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Can we get some compliments from my decks? I mean, I'm tired of hearing about Force of Phil and Roland and Dennis. Compliment my decks, everybody. Come on. 
slinging a lieutenant is only to uh, players, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's not like slinging a Trains lieutenant. Away. Yeah. Slinging a lieutenant kills creatures too, right? Not a lieutenant, uh, sli uh, siege game. Siege game. I have a foil wasteland in my hand. My vial is foil. Was my match versus Sam recorded last night? It was not, unfortunately. All right, activating vial to put the Horde Master in after no blocks, giving uh, Yasu a chance to block and wasting underground seat. Sling Gang Lieutenant Caracas are the cards left in my hand. All right, so finds another blue mana, Tundra. Brainstorm, signature spell book edition. Sure. All right, either vial takes up to three. I don't really have a way to stop the combo, at least that Yasu is aware of right now. Two unknown cards in my hand, vial on three. Attacking for three. No blocks. Playing a Rishid in port. <laughs> Cycling step through on end step. It's going to find the illusionist most likely. There it is. Tap Tundra. It's disruption, everybody. It's disruption. Okay? Uh, and I'm going to petty theft the acre vial. Using the blue mana to bounce my either vial. Activating in response. No reaction from Yasu, so I'll just put it back into my hand. You never know if your opponent will respond to your vial activation, everybody. All right, finds the illusionist. I mean, finds the blue mana for illusionist. And that is the game. Yasu takes game one. Taking a look at the deck as the game ends, because it would have been milled. All right, three cards go on the bottom for Yasu, a multi four. I have kept seven. I'm on the play. Fetch wooded foothills. Got him lucky. I didn't see a light. I was looking through all that stuff. No, it's I'm on 19. Prismatic ending on my lackey. After getting a Tundra, that'll resolve. It's to be expected. Wasteland on Tundra pass. My opponent mold to four, why not? Tundra pass. So Yasu found another land. It looks like it was ripped right off the top. Another wasteland. All right, Urza Saga comes in. Mog War Marshal. So that was mostly for the like, I didn't prevent the 20 from the merit league. Saga six ups to two.
Mog more Marshall echo cost not paid. Wooded yeah, foothills, attack for one. Cracking a fetch here. Right, exactly. That was the coolest. These were strong. When I cast the Goblin Matron. Yeah, because I figured, eh, maybe you want something first. All right, Goblin Matron getting cast. Yeah, yeah. Def Not Oz with a great question. Which is the better port deck, Gobbos or Death and Taxes? What do you think, chat? Before I answer, what what does what does Twitch chat think about this? Thinking about what to find with this matron, and I'll go for ringleader. Ro uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> I was reading chat. Saga floats a mana. Lotus Petal is found with the Saga. Yasu desperately needs mana, it seems. What about you? Uh, okay. Add a tech company? Yeah. It's nice to be able to like, wear this shirt without getting crap anymore. Yasu had two Tundras, but I blew them up with Wastelands. I think the answer is death and taxes. If you know you're going to play in a GP legacy event tomorrow, with everything on the line, you're you're flying across the world to go compete. You're playing death and taxes over goblins, I would say. If you're playing to win in current legacy. Mention the blood stain mire. Getting a snow mountain. And there's the ringleader that I found last turn. Five cards in Yasu's hand. Ringleader trigger. Matron, Trash Master, Sling Gang are found. Thank you for five. Richard and Port comes in. Goblin Trash Master comes in. Each creature will get plus one plus one. Sack a goblin, destroy target artifact, lotus pedal down. Alright, so swords on my trash master with the floating mana from the lotus pedal. I'm fine with that. It's looking like uh, Yasu needs a terminus here, which is not in the deck. That's game going to game three. One card goes on the bottom for me, so a mold of six. Yasu kept seven, polluted Delta Pass. Snow Mountain, Lackey. Well, yeah, I mean, like, if you want to go hard, you can do that stuff, but I mean, there's plenty of stuff that's just like, a couple of dudes are just like, trying to, you know, make separate stuff, or there's mom and pop came in from Vietnam, and they're just selling off. Fetching with Polluted Delta, gets a Tundra. Are we going to see a Stoneforge here? Nope, Staff of the Storyteller. Make a spirit. Pass. So something to block the lackey. We always do that. Yeah. Yeah. You're to pay town in 30s, right? Yeah. yeah. Fetch with Bloodstained Mire. Get it. Whoops. I almost just unplugged everything, everybody. Can you imagine how bad that would have been? 
The stream would have stopped and everything. Channeling Twin Shot Sniper to kill the spirit and clear the way for Lackey to get through for some damage here and it's triggered. Oh, it's a place that serves a legitimate flow. Most of the places like, don't give you the blood flow. You're all going to be So far, yeah. All right, no mucks, it's just a sling gang. Make two goblins and pass. It's either Lord or Lords. Uh, yeah, it's all. Yeah, it's all. I'm a little bit vulnerable to the combo here. It doesn't look like Yasu has it. It was a, it was a bit risky to use that channel on the spirit. But uh, I felt like if I could survive that turn, I'd be in pretty good shape. Let's see how it works out. So just another staff of the storyteller. Yeah, but then they, like, either they take away the Lord of the Ring or they forget. don't remember what was in my hand. Maybe I had a surgical. I don't really remember. I'll have to see if we get a glimpse of what's in my hand. Oh, maybe this one. Cheddar MTG, thanks for the resub with Prime. Appreciate that. Eight months. Swing for two. Needle on staff with a storyteller, so. Trying to stop Yasu's fair game here, ignoring the combo pieces, Shuko and Nomads and Core. Risky. Brainstorm for Yasu. So Yasu has a Cabal Therapy in hand. Maybe we'll get to see my hand this turn. Don't know. No idea. Probably. 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 I think it's probably there. Worm Harvester says those are the best goblin tokens. I like those goblin tokens. I think the ones I'm using I've had since I'm a kid, since I bought the Anthologies box set. Exact copies of the goblin token from Unglued. Needle is on staff of the storyteller. Sorry if that was missed. I've played against so many decks, I don't even know what they are. I'm just like, what the hell? Well, it's because of, like, familiar. Like, we're out trying to buy some the main two decks. Yeah, I listen. I eavesdrop. It's all good. The main two decks that people always brought. I have some very good control. Yeah? And don't. Grixis control. Well, most of them were playing some, like, white bird. All right, munitions expert was named. Ah, I had a pyrokinesis in hand. That's right. Okay, now it's coming back to me. Pyrokinesis, red blast, and goblin matron. I had I had the pyrokinesis in my opener. I'm pretty sure. I knew I had something, but I couldn't think of what it was. If it was a surgical or, or whatever, but yeah, pyrokinesis. Um, so munitions expert was named by Kabbalah therapy. That's a swing and a miss. Savior, thanks for the reso with Prime. Thirteen months for Savior. Thank you so much. Needle. All right, so Sling Gang Lieutenant has been named with Yasu's Pithing Needle. So I can no longer sack goblins to drain. Pyrokinesis Red Blast, pretty good hand. Thinking about what to do. There is a 1 1 spirit on blocking duty on Yasu's side. My thinking now is 
Yasu knows about my Red Blast and Pyrokinesis. I don't know how much value I'll get out of them. Oh, uh, name Goblin. I don't know, man. Things okay. feel saltier and sure. modern. Modern? Like, modern. Just so, like, like, so yeah. Alright, Goblin Mage and Resolves. It cannot be countered. Cleared the way for Lackey with the last two cards in my hand. And I don't think Yasu has removal, so I'm going for the attack here and hoping for a Lackey trigger to put Muxus in. Shit. No, that's not good. Really? <laughs> Yasu says that's not good. Yeah, it's not good. All right, so a gem palm incinerator, which basically has no text here. Matron and goblin crater maker were found, and I'll search with matron now. Um, hindsight 50 50. I'm glad I named the slate game. Yeah. Yeah, but they do it because they have to. Yeah, I'm like. My pithing needle is on staff for the storyteller. Yasu's pithing needle is on sling gang lieutenant. Just a reminder on that. Currently searching my deck for a card with Goblin Matron. Okay, Earwig Squad. Yes. Earwig Squad is what I found. I'll put the text up. Uh, uh, I'll be able to rip the combo out of the deck next turn with your squad. Triumph of St. Catherine revealed off the top of the deck by Yasu. Is Yasu thinking about not even casting this Triumph of St. Catherine? Don't know what else is in hand? Looks like a Brainstorm, an Illusionist. And can't make out what the last card is. Staff of the Storytellers each have one counter on them and can be activated, potentially. Cabal Therapy could be flashback to uh, remove Yurug's squad from my hand if, if that is of interest, but there's no creatures on the board currently, and the attack next turn will be for lethal if there are no creatures to block. For sure. Crater Maker could also blow up Pithing Needle, and then I can activate Sling Gang, so Yasu's in pretty big trouble here. Triumph of St. Catherine gets cast. Yeah. Uh, interestingly enough, the main deck put it in, but that was only because it's a uh, we went to like, like a one camera or two. We were going to face a game. Oh, it does. Yeah, as far as like why we were having. Yeah, go. And also, when you like side board, it's the most of the moves. All right, passing the turn. We do have to cast Irwig Squad for its Prowl cost. I do have a Cavern of Souls, but putting it in off Lackey will not work. Triumph of St. Catherine blocks the gigantic Muxus. I mean, look, look at what's happening. So you gain yeah. one. Muxus has trample? No, right? No. This guy has, and then you lose one, two, oh, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you get seven. All right, just figuring out the math on combat damage. Yasu goes down to seven. I could also blow up uh, Needle here and end the game with Sling Gang. 
but I'm worried about a possible swords in response potentially. Although Yasu would likely have fired off swords already if the, if they had it. Resolving the triumph of Saint Catherine ab dies ability here. Because if I if I activate Crater Maker targeting Needle, it swords my Sling Gang response. So I just want to hold Crater Maker for now. Cast the Earwig Squad. Just play a safe cast this game. We're on the spot. Brainstorm in response to Earwig Squad. I'm going to try and get the combo in hand. Thassa's Oracle in hand. It cannot be countered. I cast it with Cavern. Did not put anything in with the Lackey trigger. Is the client face up? The cancer clinic is safe for three. Review is the cards I choose. Yeah. The the uh, ETB ability is if its prowl cost was paid, which it was, search target opponent's library for three cards and exile them. Then that player shuffles. That's what that's the wording on Eric's squad. It's a five three for five, but I cast it for its prowl cost, which is black, and then two. All right, going to look through uh, Yasu's library here and exile three cards of my choice. Dread Return has been pulled to the front, it looks like. Ashuko has been pulled to the front. I'm just kind of looking through right now. Thassa's Oracle will obviously be picked. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. Someone has the best max. No, they do. Yeah. Also shuffling away that Triumph of St. Catherine we saw earlier. Dread Return, Thassa's Oracle, and Triumph of St. Catherine were chosen. Doesn't really make sense to choose the Dread Return, maybe, with Thassa's Oracle gone, but I did it anyway. There was nothing else in the deck that really worried me. It's pretty stock list, and Staff of the Storyteller uh, has had counters on it for turns and turns at this point. All right, found a Triumph of St. Catherine, is casting it for Miracle. Must have been in hand. Put back on top by Brainstorm. Yasu's still in major trouble here. I don't even know if there's a card in existence that Yasu could use to win this game. Way behind. That's not good. Terminus, yeah. I'm currently tapping. There is no terminus in the deck. If there was, I would have removed it. Supreme verdict, maybe. Prismatic ending. Yeah, supreme verdict would have been pretty good. Supreme verdict would have been pretty good. But of the cards left in Yasu's deck, I don't think there's anything is what I was, what I meant to say. Cast a matron. All right, casting a matron. For combat. Getting a trash master. I'll swing at everybody. I shuffle this nature. Trigger on Muxus. Big attack. Earwig squad has five power. I do have a crater maker still. So you're going to gain five life and go to 12. Yeah, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, I'm already dead. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, where is my crater maker? Oh, the crater maker is gone. 